Amen. Let us bow down our head for prayer. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord and our Father, we worship you, we adore you, we thank you for the privilege, we thank you for your divine protection for the past five months. Daddy, accept our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for the grace and opportunity given unto us. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in your word that in the sixth month, an angel of the Lord was sent into the city. Daddy, I pray that this month of the sixth month, which is the month of June, is going to be our month of divine visitation, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's going to be our month of good news, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy, as we listen to your word this time around, Daddy, come and speak to us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. As you speak through your servant, Daddy, confirm it in our life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, because we've answered in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We thank God, itato, the Lord has been helping us in this assembly. We all know that the Lord has been doing wonders. We could witness the manifestation of His presence in our midst from time to time. But before we pray, the Lord has a message for us. You want to share His mind with us briefly. As I was praying and meditating concerning what we sh what us to do today, he started to share his mind with me concerning <coughs> the particular issues that he wants to deal with this in our midst, in our life. As an individual, as a family, and congregationally. Um, let's go briefly to the word of God. We will try to summarize the message. Because of time. Um, let's open a Bible to Psalm 119, beginning from verse 33. That is the passage you have chosen for the Bible reading for today's uh, service. And that is a particular, that is the very passage we will take our text for today's uh, message. Are you there? Psalm 119 verse, beginning from verse 33. Teach me, O oh Lord, the way of your status. I now shall keep it to the end. I'm reading from New King James Version of the Bible. One Kalatino uh, New verse, King James. Verse 34. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall serve it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to covetousness. Verse 34. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things. Uh, 
King James Version says vanity. But New King James Version says worthless things. And revive me in your way. King, King James Version says quicken me. But the New Tran Translation says revive me in your way. Verse 38. Establish your word to your servant who is devoted to fearing you. Turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your judgments are good. Verse 40. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. Amen. Amen. Oluwa, call me near Nore, a music map, Pamma Dioqui. For me near ye, a music for Fin Remo. Need to talk, a mere marquee seat, you know, me, Bobo. Mummy, ni pa a share, Nitori, you know, any did you know me? Fire, I miss a rere, kill masses, kill masses, see, or Jukokoro. You or Jumi, but I grow Latin, my woe one son. Mummy, ye, near Nore. Fior a remule, see, no share, tissue, see, Iberu. Ye, Gomi, but Timo Beru. Nitori ti idajo re dara ese goji si o gbe yin ki esi okan mi ti fa si e ko re so media aye ninu ododo re amen amen the theme of this of today's message is understanding the word of god akori to prosperity and peace a kori oro ti owuro yi ni nini oye oro olorun eleyi ti se kokoro si aseyori tabi ibukun understanding the word of god key to prosperity and peace nini oye oro olorun kokoro si ise iserere ati alafia when i was meditating nigba ti mo se asaro he said o wi pe Tell my people, so far when you me, and as well pray over it. I said, What is it? He said, We need understanding of the word of God. We need God Pray understanding in His word. Anilo ishiniye nino. Enlightenment in this world. Oni kasoro kashala ye nikukuru kasiwa badwa lelori. That we should explain briefly and we should pray over it. Is it scriptural? In your Bible, it will be. Is it according to Bible now? In your Bible, it will be. Let's go back to that passage again. Verse 34. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Let me come up again. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Amen. Amen. That is the key. It make me to understand. We believers children of God followers of Christ Christians many a times we take time to read to study to meditate the word of God but unfortunately we lack understanding and when you lack understanding what happened? the devil will be cheating us 
And we all know this. But we thank God for the life of the psalmist. He knows quite well that reading and studying the word of God is not just enough except the spirit of God make us to understand what we do, what we do read and study. And we have much to say on this particular issue. But time is not our friend. Many a times. People come to the house of God. They listen to the word of God. They prayed. And when they get back home, what happened? They begin to do to the contrary. The opposite. Of what they've had in the word of God. We have had some cases. After the service. Couples will go back home. When some issues arise. This may provoke anger. Serious argument. And before you know it, they begin to uh, fight. Causing themselves. Uttering some things you, you can you can't. You can't even expect from them. All they have to receive from the service. The devil will rob them of everything. And even that night, rather than have an divine, rather than experience divine encounter or divine visitation, what happened? They begin to. Uh, witness uh, nightmares. The devil knows what he does. The husband or the children or the, or the children having serious attack. Then we begin to wonder. With all that I've had the previous day and the prayer they have prayed. The devil have robbed them of everything. They are now back to square one. They begin to complain. More money. Saying, I don't think uh, God answered that prayer in that church. I'm fed up. The pastor was saying, God has blessed everyone, and there will be no affliction. This and that, all the prophecy, revelation, visions, it's all lies. And probably I will need to look for another place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to tell you this. Anything that you want to become in the world. Anything at all. You may want to be called here on earth. It's in the Bible. Do you believe? Pardon? It's God Himself, it's the Holy Spirit who gave me the theme of that message 
understanding the world will go, key to prosperity and peace. Then he started to explain everything to me. Because of time. Let's go quickly to the Bible. Let's go back to the Bible. Oh. Okay, let's go Open your Bible with me to um, the book of Joshua. Chapter 5. Joshua Rikini. And we'll read the first, I mean, read the verse. Let's begin from verse uh, 7. Open your Bible with me to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, beginning from verse 7. Joshua is a man who took over, who, who, who took uh, the baton from uh, Moses. Joshua, you not, you are not, you are and I read from verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall <laughs> meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. That's yes, KJ. Then verse, then verse 9. Yes, yes, no. Have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Sa shegiri ki o si mu aya le gidi gidi ki iwo ki o le ki esi ati se gege bi gbogbo ofin ti mo se ranse mi ti palase fun o ma se yaku o ninu re si otun tabi si osi ki o le dara fun o ni bi ki bi ti iwo ba lo iwe ofin yi ko gbodo ku o ni enu re sugbon iwo o ma sasaro ninu re ni osun ati ni oru ki iwo ki o le ki esi ati se gege bi gbogbo yi ti a ko sinu re nitori nipa na ni iwo o se onu re ni rere nipa na ni yo si dara fun o ese kesan emi ko wa pase fun o bi se giri ki o si mu aya le ma se beru be ni ke ya ki o ma se fu o nitori pe oluwa olorun re wa pelu re ni bi kibi ti iwo ba nlo amen amen i don't know whether you are conversant with that passage of scripture bi mo boya a mo ese bi bere ti akayi dara dara pardon This is an eternal word. No, eternal word. Eternal, eternal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This uh, promise, this exhortation, is from God. To a man of God called Joshua. Who took over from the man of God Moses. But I want to tell you. This promise is also for every pilgrim. Pilgrim. Every pilgrim. Because the Bible makes us understand that we are pilgrims and strangers in this world. 
Is it it? I don't know how many of us have been to this world before. Pardon? Anybody? Which means you are a stranger here in this world. You have never been here before. And therefore, only God can show us the way. The way to prosperity. To peace. Blessedness. All the good things of life. Success. Divine protection. Security. Anything you need. It's in the Bible. And this exhortation to this man of God is also confirmed through the psalmist. Let's go back to that to the earlier passage quickly. <laughs> we are trying to summarize it because of that because we want to pray. <laughs> Number one. The Psalmist know the importance of meditation in the word of God. As in line with the exhortation of God to Moses, I mean to Joshua, the man of God. Let's go to uh, verse 48 of that passage. Psalm 119, verse 48. My hand also I will lift up to your commandments, which I love. And I will meditate on your statutes. Yes, ma'am. 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 Let me come up again. My hands also I will lift up to your commandments, which I love. And I will meditate on your statutes. Amen. Amen. The psalmist knows that in this world is a stranger. He has never been here before. He's a pilgrim. And therefore, he needs direction. He needs guidance. He needs road, road map. And therefore, he knows that there, there is no other way he can find that except where? In the Word of God. And that is why I always emphasize that uh, knowledge is power. He didn't let you have knowledge of everything that is the world. But you lack knowledge in the word of God. You haven't you have not known anything at all. The Bible calls you foolish. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And why does the psalmist always emphasize in his study and meditating in the word of God? What is the secret? Pardon? I will tell you the secret now. Um... Number one, 
Let's go back to verse thirty-five. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Amen. 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 What is the secret? What is the secret now? <laughs> he is delighted in the word of God. Just as the word of exhortation from God to man of God, Joshua. Let's go to 47 again. Verse 47. We are reading Psalm 119, verse 47. I will delight myself in your commandments, which I love. <laughs> What's the secret again? Not just being delighted in the word of God, he loved the word of God. He said the same thing, he loved the word of God. Another confirmation. There are many, but we just, we just uh, take time to read just three out of it. Verse 48 again. My hands also I will lift up to your commandments, which I love. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. He loved the word of God. <laughs> He has already developed the habit of reading, studying, and meditating in it because of what? Because He loved it. What is shedding to do? What is rice? Okay, let him mark her. Let him mark her. What? Let him mark her. Shallow. You know, run around to the picking it to the go fair. Because he knows there is prosperity. To the go more, you can't know any shedding of one. Peace. I love ya. Success. I share your ring. Promotion. Ibega. Protection. Abo. Security. Idabobo. Anything you need here on earth. He knows that that is where it is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is unfortunate today that people fear. Wishes, wizard, powers of darkness, more than God. Ah, when your man be will show a je, a para o kukuji o lor lor. And why? Kwa ni di. Ignorance. Ope. Ignorance of what? Ope, no no kini. Of their right in Christ. Mi mo o tito a wo ni no o lor ni no Christi. If you don't know your right, in Christ Jesus, the devil will be shooting you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at it in the secular. The son of Jonathan. Jonathan. The president, the current president. Is it possible for? Even the least of his, the youngest of a child to fear any policeman. In J, a talker, you do not want more. Show them my Beru, I want a lock. I can't hear you. Even any soldier, talk less of police. Tabi, I want no boom, come at it, talk with a lock. Even the least of his children, a talker, you do not want more. Be a friend of the IG, is it? it? Even IG cannot touch the least of his children. That is in the secular. Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan's son. Because of where? Oh, Lord, I'm born. Hey, 
Now the police policeman is coming and he begins to fear. Please let me hide here. Maybe I'm the one that they are looking for. Let me hide myself here. Is it possible? Certainly no. Even if he has done wrong, the Even if he has done something that is wrong, he knows that his father is there to deliver him and to save him. Though as a child of God, you cannot afford to toy with sin. Because our father is a righteous God. These days, he expects us to take time to begin to read, to study, and meditate in a word in order to what? To increase our knowledge, in order to do what? To grow in grace. Niru akoko buyi on reti lati odowa ipe kama aka ki ama keko ki asima shasha ro ninu oro re lati le ma dagba ninu ori ofe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it in line with the Bible? In jo wa ni ba mu pelu bibeli bi. Let's quickly confirm it again before we pray. Eje ki a fe se le mule ki a so lo gbadura. Um there's a language the Samis used to apply here which 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 used to challenge me. And it's a secret. Um, when I was reading the there are thousands of coins of gold and silver. Oh, fienu, red ara fun mi ju egbegberun wura ati fadaka lo. Let me come up again. E je ki nka fun wale kan si. The love of your mouth is better to me than thousands of coins of gold and silver. Oh, fienu, red ara fun mi ju egbegberun wura ati fadaka lo. I don't know whether you understand that passage. No matter how rich you are. No matter how wealthy. If you don't have the word of God. Number one. God will see you as a miserable person. As a, as a, as a poor man or woman. Not only that, <laughs> the devil can, he has the right to bring you down anytime he delights, anytime he likes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know some people here in Lagos before. Some decades in the past. They can boast virtually anything. Material, materially. Because they are unbelievers. They don't delight in the word of God talkless of going to church. But today. Nothing again. Which means if you have all the riches in the world, you don't have the word of God. God will see you as the most miserable person on earth. And here is the secret to true prosperity. Blessedness. Success. Peace. Security. And protection. Come up with me. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 37. Verse 37. Okay. Turn away my eyes from looking at vanity. 
this, this, one, this translation says, worthless things. And revive me in your way. Verse <laughs> 40, because of time. We want to join it together. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Why do many people don't, don't have time for the word of God? Or they are not interested, interested in reading the word of God? Pardon? They will say, well, um, number one, I don't enjoy it. I prefer reading uh, uh, newspapers, dailies, magazines. Because I join it because I want to be current. So that I would know which business to invest. Because they, 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 they believe that uh, material things come first. That when you are when you are rich. People will respect you. Even in the house of God, all these pastors, ah, they love people who, 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 who have money. And this and that, even when I come to their churches, they will, they will honor me. They will give me uh, due respect. Not only that, um, I will be able to secure special position in the church. Because they and therefore, when you are, when the word of God revive you, when the God of quicken you, what happened? I can assure you, you will not lack any good thing. Oh mo, oni sa mu yimo wipe oro lorun ni so ni di aye. Oun le le ri soke. Ni gba to ba si gba aye, to fi aye gba oro lorun lati ru osoke lati so di aye lati so oji. Mo mo daju wipe oni ku no nko un. I told you the case of a man. Mo so ise leti okunrin ko fun wa. He was rich then. Oni oro ni gba na. But he felt sick. Oh, what shy song? Very serious sickness. Oh, shy song. Then I was visiting him. At that time, I have time. I have time to visit, to go anywhere, to visit anybody. I Nira, have time. <laughs> I was visiting him. After some time, I have to introduce to the word of God. Say, take time to read the Bible. This and I say, ah, no. I said, why? Ah, is there any time I read it? I need to have an attack. Nightmare. So lot of people say, "Ha ha!" Then I know that I understand the, his problem. And what is his problem? What is the problem? Kini shorore. Tori kweni ba ti mo ntolo yi mo wa sofun ipe ki o ma raye lati ma ka oro olorun o wa so pe ni gbogbo gba ti o ba ti nka oro olorun yi ni won ma ni o ma ni doju ko loju alaun ibe ni mo wa ti mo pe ishorore ni eleyi ki wa ni ishorore. Spiritual bondage. Igbe kun ninu emi. O wa nu ki lo sele. O wa nu ide niyan. That spiritual bondage. And therefore, if you don't develop that habit, you don't have the light in reading and meditating the word of God, you don't love it, it means something is wrong with your spiritual life. See? And you and you need to be delivered. And today the Lord will deliver you. Amen. I say the Lord will deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Some so-called Christians. They can they have time to discuss politics. They are so current. They know everything about Jonathan, Fachola, every other politician, and this and that. But when you come to the knowledge, uh, what the word of God, hmm, or oh, okay, Baba, I let us on yet too. I just keep Agba Dua. Kilo Shele, Lani Shaju Meji, Oti Muna Lo. Okay, okay, okay. I just keep Bible. Bible, Ania, or Bible, Kola Anso. Bible, Iwu Mika. 
Today, the Lord will deliver you. There are some people, they delight themselves in politics, in discussing politics. But when you ask them to read the word of God or let us pray, you, you discover that they begin to sleep, they begin to doze up. And because of this, they are in one problem or the other. And I pray that today, you'll be delivered in Jesus' name. Don't forget the theme of today's message. Understanding of the word of God. Understanding the word of God. Key to prosperity and peace. Don't be deceived. If anybody is teaching prosperity, peace, blessing, riches, out of context, it's not telling you the truth. President, governor, Amen. Amen. Are you ready to deliver today? Let's rise on our feet. Personally, myself, I want to be delivered. Not that, not that, uh, not that I've, I've achieved it already. Even God Himself, you to tell me from time to time. Oh man, so from that day, day, day. Say, my son, be on my me, my servant. I no share me. Take time to study the Word of God, to read and to study the Word of God than before. Why ye? Let him make a roll on it. Let him make. Let him make a con in red. Duty that you are not. Take time. Uh, to read the Bible and as well pray than before. Why let it be belly? Kiosi, why let it be bad? Why tell it all? Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sorry to say this. I might be looking for soil. And that is why these days, so people may be complaining. I will be able to come and I will down. Kilo de, we go. Kilo de. We call you on your answers. You did not receive. You did not take it. What happened? I put on my contract. Oh, are you into contract? Contract. I'm going to be The contract that I have already received is that. Because I want to prosper. I want God. I want everything to be well with me. I want it to be well with my family. God warned me. Oluwa gogolo kilo for me. My son. Oh, mommy. Take time. Why? To spend quality time with me than before. Why? For me, let him have a look. Well, me just sit at the wall. And that is why, if I have the opportunity, I always uh, wait patiently before him this time around for hours Moment. than before. And therefore, even if it is the president that wants to get to me, I, I cannot afford to disobey God. Hallelujah. And when I do this, I myself you to see the difference. I you to be revived. <laughs> Just according to that psalmist. <laughs> When you have time to pray, to read, oh man, so you didn't know me. It will revive you spiritually. And because of this, I want to unwind the kakiri. Those things that you are moving here and there for. And see me, my sister, Alaja. Alaja. Or are you meeting to me? I'm tired of my life. Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church? The church that you are going, what did they do for you? Didn't I tell you that you should not go to the church?
And I want to assure you again. And by his grace. I am saying it with authority. And from practical experience. <laughs> Anything you need here on earth. Anything you want to become. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> When you begin to read it, daily, to the and you pray, now, the first thing that will happen is, it will transform your life. And when your life is transformed, what happened? Your life will begin to attract the blessing of the Lord. I want you, Mary. Why you me? Those people that did not rock on with you. Why she alone? They begin to do you good. <coughs> I'm telling you the real truth. Lenny. Today. God wants to set us free. From this bondage of laziness. You know, it is Nesine to study and read the word, the word of God. Then it will give us. His grace. The spirit. To begin to read. And study the word. And our life will not be the same again. Amen. Amen. I don't know whether you are interested in that. The first thing we do right now is. We need to acknowledge our sin. When you prefer uh, daily magazines or uh, watching TV so, than praying and studying the word of God, it's a sin, it's a sin, it's a sin. So by the way, last time I was, I was with my wife. I said last time I came, I want to roll you back there. You want me to feel last time I came? Have you felt last time I was? Eh, she's nearly here. Molo Beni can lie away. I went to meet somebody this morning. Mosheba, Mosafunpe, Moniluk. You need to go for seven day fasting and prayer. I told him or her that you need to go for seven day only not by welcome J. Because your spiritual life is growing worse rather than improve, it's growing worse. Okay, yeah, Few minutes after. He, he came back to me. He said it's true. I because I used to watch some things in the internet. And it has affected my life negatively. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. internet, television, rather than There's something that we watch in the television and in the internet. Instead of them to do us good, they normally destroy our lives. Some of these things they are demonic. As you are watching it, I want demons in your mouth press you. Those demons will begin to oppress you as you are watching it. As you are watching it, you just go out as you sleep. I want demons in your mouth to oppress you. The demons will begin to oppress you when you sleep. I want Allah to go and lack Tell the television man about it. No church. I call the people about it. No go. I want to go and I want to go and go. Wilderness. You begin to have nightmares. <laughs> Instead of you having good dreams, you begin to see yourself in the wilderness, looking for the way out, and you not see the way. What happened? Kill They have robbed you of your virtues. What you got? I want to marry, marry. Do not hear the Lord. Hear the Lord. What you kidding? What you give up well? They have gone with your goodness. You have to pay. You are bound to square one. They let total casino people to take part. That's it. I don't care. But we should hear it. Ah, can you see what, what do you see to that? Let's go before the Lord. I just can't lose my job. I begin to confess your sins. Before we pray. Don't, don't. I believe you. I believe you. Mercy of God. Don't, don't, uh, don't justify yourself. 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 Don't justify I be seeing myself going, don't justify yourself at all. If you justify yourself, it means you, 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 you do prolong the matter. Mm. 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 Mm.